need to wait for the appeal. Come forward. Come forward. Come by tonight to be baptized. Join me at the front here. Come forward. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Say amen, church. Say amen. Say amen. Bless you as you come. Praise God. No if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Give him back your all. Give him back your all tonight. Give him everything you've got. Give him everything you've got. Come tonight. Reach out and touch tonight. Everything you've got tonight. Do you want a shoulder? Do you want a hand to lead you into the kingdom? Walk on tonight in Jesus' name. Walk by faith and not by sight tonight. No to Jesus is yes to Satan. Don't give him a part tonight. Come. Come tonight. You know the Bible says to compel them to come. That's how important salvation is. Walk on tonight. Give God the rest of your life from tonight on. Come tonight in Jesus' name. Ushers, I want you to begin to process these people with the cards. Ushers, I want you to begin to process these people. These people mean business with God. And so we want to mean business. The baptismal pass. We're using the baptismal passes tonight. I gave the baptismal passes. Come. Come. Evangelists just get vexed at this time. Don't get me vexed. Come. Come. Come, 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 come. Let's work. Let's work. Baptism. Yes. Praise God tonight. You're on ball. Praise God. Work this one. All ushers and board, work together. Praise God. We're expediting the process tonight. God is calling somebody else. God is calling somebody else. Come tonight. Come tonight. Do you hear his voice? Is Jesus calling you tonight? He says, I have all that you need. And all you have to do is walk on in faith in me. And if you walk on in faith, I am going to leave you. He says, my grace is sufficient. You don't have to ask anything. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow is in me. Put yourself in me. Come tonight. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Do you hear his voice tonight? Come on in faith tonight. Come on tonight. Come tonight. Give her a pass there, moms. Give her a pass. Let her come tonight. Let me help you into the kingdom. I, I want to walk you into the kingdom tonight. I want to walk you by faith into the kingdom tonight. Is that important? Is that important? The man of God is calling. Uh, God is calling you. Do you hear the voice? My sister, God wants to do something in your life. Come tonight. Praise God tonight. You're keeping all ten commandments. Living by the full truth of the word of God. He says if you're keeping nine and not ten, nine is not good enough. Nine is not good enough. God wants you to follow him. He says if you obey me, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's about loving Jesus. It's all about loving Jesus enough tonight to keep all of his commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. Is there one more for Jesus? One more for Jesus? One more for Jesus tonight. You didn't come prepared for baptism. But God is prepared for you. We have gongs, don't worry. We have gongs, don't worry. We have a God always makes a way. Come tonight. Come tonight. Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. Come tonight. Come tonight. Come tonight. Come. He's calling. You might be here tonight and you think that you're not ready to be baptized tonight. But you would like to make that covenant with Jesus. Still come to the altar. Every walk of faith you make. It is making it solid in your mind and it is making it solid to the devil that you are serious when it comes to God. Come tonight. Make a covenant. You want to say, Pastor, tonight what I want is for you to pray for me that I make the right decision for Jesus. Is that you? You want to say, God, I just need prayer tonight to make the right decision. If you want prayer tonight, just raise your hand. You want prayer to make the right decision, just wave your hand where you are. You want to say, Pastor, pray for me to make the right decision. Pray for me. I'm a bit troubled in my mind. I'm a bit confused right now. But I know God will work all things out. Pray for me, Pastor. Is that you? Pray for me. Praise God. Praise God. All those who want that prayer, come for prayer. Come for the prayer right here. Come for the prayer right here. You want that prayer, come. Those who are going to be baptized are there already. You want that prayer, come. Praise God, come. Join me right here for that prayer. Praise God tonight. Praise God tonight. Praise God. 
with a sincere heart. Stand here for that prayer. Stand here for that prayer. God is calling. Stand here for that prayer. You want God to help you. You want to make a decision for Jesus. You want prayer for that decision. Join them. Join them. I will follow, follow thee, my Savior. Wheresoever thy lot may be. Thou did share and the all. Remember thou was tempted. I remember. Yes, Jesus was tempted. was tempted. Jesus had challenges that he had I to face. He went them through and he came through successful thee. to show you that if you I walk in him, you can be successful over your challenges. Thee, Don't go home with your challenges tonight. You I can't solve them. Only in Jesus can they be solved. And when you come to the altar, you are saying, Jesus, you solve them. I don't know how you're going to make a way, Jesus, but I'm trusting you to take away. Take my hand and make a way. Come tonight. Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. He's calling for young ladies. He's calling for young ladies. He wants to paint your future, right? My sister, Jesus is calling. My friend, Jesus loves you with an unconditional love. He says there is nothing, nothing he wouldn't do to make sure you are saved. You don't need to know the entire Bible to be saved. All you need to do is to love Jesus. Love Jesus tonight. And as long as you love him, he says, come my child. Come my child. Praise God tonight. Praise God tonight. Praise God tonight. By thy grace, I'll follow thee. By his grace. It's by his grace. Okay, let's hold there. Let's hold there. Let's pause. The song says, And though all men should forsake thee. God, I could be like them too when I look at my ways. I could be like them too when I look at my challenges. And I might forsake you and turn back tonight. But by thy grace, I'll follow you. Because only by God's grace can you be able to follow. If you trust in your own strength tonight, you're going to stay where you are because you know full well you can't make it. And you're correct. But God says, listen to me, in Jesus you are able. Says my grace is sufficient to keep you. And I am able to keep you from falling. You don't have to wonder if you would fall tomorrow if you come tonight. Jesus can keep you from falling. He who began the good work in you, He's able to keep it until the day of Jesus. Come tonight. One more for Jesus tonight. One more for Jesus tonight. That one could be you. Come tonight. Say, Jesus, if it's one more in this church to be saved tonight, I want that one to be me. Come. If there is one more tonight in the ark of safety, Jesus, I want that one to be me. Come. Come. Come tonight. Come tonight. Come. Come because you love him and he loves you. Come. Come tonight. We are about to pray. We are about to pray now. Yes, I do. I do, praise God. Number two, do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? And let me help you to appreciate what that means. You see all that we're teaching from the Bible here. This is what the church believes. Do you believe in the Bible and want to follow the teachings of the Bible? Do you? I do. Number three, do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ, to be accepted in the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your influence, tithes and offerings, and a life of service? Do you? All right. What this means is you're saying now, yes, I want to be baptized publicly showing here before all these people that I love Jesus enough and I want to be a child of God, a Christian, a Seventh-day Adventist, believing in the Ten Commandments, keeping the Sabbath holy and following Jesus, worshiping him and doing as he pleases from all that he says in the scriptures. That is what that means. Do you? Praise God. Praise God. And so we turn to the church. These are your brethren, your 
older brothers and sisters, we call them, who are here to join in nurturing you. For when you come out of the water, it doesn't matter if you are one or 100, you are a brand new baby in Christ. Amen. How does that feel? Wonderful. In Jesus' name, a brand new baby in Christ. And so for every baby, guess what? You have bigger brothers and sisters. Somebody say amen. Amen. And so, brothers and sisters here of the Tunapuna Seventh-day Adventist Church, is it your desire to accept these here candidates? You've heard their profession of their faith here, and they've said yes to the vows. Uh, do you, by uh, a show of hands, accept them into the fellowship of the body of Christ here, subject to their baptism? And everybody say all right, all right, you can show your hand. Show your hand so that they see you. Show your hand. Praise God. Look at them. They're already celebrating your entrance into the body of Christ in baptism. And so we'll have the choristers uh, lead us into uh, a continuation of the hymns as we get ready for the baptism. Uh, Elder, Elder Dave, uh, come and, 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 and take charge here now so that we know what happens from this point. We praise God tonight for the proclamation of his word and for all those who have accepted in their hearts to serve Jesus and are now about to do so by demonstration. And in the water tonight, we have Daniel Burgess, and he loves the Lord enough to show publicly that he wants to be saved. So because of his faith in the shed blood of Christ for his sins, I now baptize him in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The church says, Amen. Amen. I am delivered, praise the Lord. I am delivered, sing glory to his name. I was lost in Tonight, Marla Fernandez loves Jesus with her whole heart, soul, and mind. And she wants to show to not just Tunapuna, but to all the world, how much she loves Jesus. And that's why she is standing in the water tonight, giving her heart to him in baptism. For she is giving her life to him for always. And so because of her faith in Jesus... In his blood, shared for the forgiveness of our sins. I now baptize her in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Let the church say, Amen. Lord Jesus, I long to be perfectly whole. I want thee forever to live in my soul. Break down every idol, cast out every fall. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Kimberly Ford wants to say, Jesus, while you are saving others, God, do not pass me by. 
I want to be in your kingdom. And so because of her faith in Christ and what his blood and Calvary means for her now and for her eternal destiny, I now baptize her in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. The church say, Lord Jesus, let down from thy throne in the sky and help me to make a complete sacrifice. I give up myself and whatever I know. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than We praise God tonight for Samaya Changa. Amen? Amen. We are happy tonight that God is in the saving business. And when God calls somebody, man, woman, boy, or girl, he wants them to answer yes, yes, yes. Tonight, Samaya is standing in the pool because she is saying yes. And God has promised that whomever believes and is baptized, his promise is that they shall be saved. She is safe tonight in Jesus. And so because of her faith in Christ, I now baptize her in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. The church says, Lord Jesus, for this I most humbly entreat, I with blessed Lord at thy crucified feet, by faith for my cleansing, I see thy blood flow, now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Whiter than snow, yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. I was so moved last night when I saw a father bringing her daughter to the altar. And I know that if I, mortal man, if I'm moved by that, then heaven is moved. And there is celebration tonight over the fact that Kayla Best, in her young life is desirous of giving her heart to Jesus. The Bible says, remember now thy creator in the days of your youth. She does not want to wait until all of the agonies of life and pangs weigh her down. She's accepting Jesus now in her youth. And so because of her faith that would now stand as a witness to all the world, I now baptize her in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, the church of the living God say, Lord Jesus, thou seest, I patiently wait. Come now and within me a new heart create. To those who have sought thee, thou never says no. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. shall be whiter than snow. Amen, amen. We praise God for what just took place, amen. We thank God for the deliverance and the victory that he has given his sons and daughters this evening. And right where you are in this congregation, some of you are here, and you know that God wants you to take this step. You know that Jesus wants nothing less from you than all of you. And so if you are in the congregation and you want to say, Pastor, I know you are finished for tonight, but I know Jesus is not finished. And I want when the next opportunity avails itself, I want to be there. I want to be in the water saying yes to Jesus. Just give a wave where you are. You want to say, yes, Jesus, I want to be there. 
Praise God, praise God, praise God. God sees you, amen, amen indeed. Let's bow our heads as we pray. Father, we thank you for your sons and daughters who have come home to you. Boldly declaring tonight that they stand on the side of Prince Emmanuel. We thank you, God, and we pray that now, as heaven has already recorded, that you would keep their names written in the Lamb's book of life. That, oh God, when you come to claim your own, all those who just passed through this water, indeed, God, they would be in the kingdom. We pray tonight that their example and their testimony and witness here tonight would be a bold and fruitful encouragement to many in the congregation here. Many who are not even here tonight who are to take this step as well. That, oh God, you would help that by this experience, somebody else would leave Satan's camp and come and join Jesus wholeheartedly. So bless your people as they go home now. Oh, for somebody who is still resistant. God, tonight I pray that you would trouble them. Oh, yes, God, trouble them. Oh, shake them in their boots tonight. Whatever it takes, oh God, to wake them up tonight. Whatever it takes to show them that you're not playing. Whatever it takes to let them know that you're serious about their eternal destiny. Oh, God, you do it. And let them come running to the altar saying, yes, God, I am yours. Bless your people now. We pray take us all home safely and bring us back tomorrow as we continue this wonderful experience learning at the foot of Jesus. Thank you in Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen and amen. God bless you richly. Be safe as you go home and see you tomorrow.